good morning, good afternoon, good evening and welcome to another episode of Mark Talks Football and today we are carrying on the Football Manager save. We've had a bit of up and down since the last time I've spoke to you but we're going again. So we played three games last episode, the Huddersfield, Ipswich and Rotherham game. Since then we've played four games, yes, in four games. Uh, we've played against Yaku Meite and Nabi Sar's new teams and Tom Ince's new teams since the last time I spoke to you. So we're going to get into it and have a look about how we got on and what we did. And there is a signing I have made that will be coming in January. Fuck it, I'm going to show you. I'll show you it. So here we go. Back to the layout we did before. I want in my face. You guys are getting my face. Get over it. So... Here we go. Millwall, we played against a Nabi Sar got sent off. <laughs> um, when we played them, we beat the 3 1. Andy Carroll hat trick. And then we lost to Fulham 3 2. And I have to say, rightly so. Uh, Connor Boyce Clark had a stinker. Um, but at the same time, the goal we scored. Can I show you the goal we scored? Um, because. Just watch the goals. I want to show you the first goal we scored, and that's all we're going to look at. Um, because it's it's a bit mad, this. And it's a goal that, if it was against me, I would be extremely angry. Here it is. Yep. That was the goal. Off the crossbar, it bounces in. If it was against me, I would be extremely 100% angry about but because it wasn't I don't care um, Sunderland beat them 2-0 Andy Carroll after a minute just wanted to show his vengeance against Sunderland and scored um, and we've done really well we've got a lot of injuries at the moment the goalkeeper's injured our proper centre back is now injured and uh, Charlie Pianto is now injured he is out for 7 weeks up to 7 weeks he's out for 2 weeks He's got a cold, so he's out for a little while. Um, the signing. Yeah. I brought him. £800,000 or £875,000. He's coming to join us. He's on just over £15,000 of wage. He's going to be taking over the uh, role. Good passing, good technique. He's got a decent potential to be a decent Premier League player. So we will get money back for him. He does have a release clause. I always put release clauses in their contracts um, to make sure we're doing okay. Um, but apart from that, everything is going tickety-boo. I'm average. People like me. Not doing much. Club atmosphere is really good. No unhappy players at the uh, at the club. We currently have 71 players in the whole club, including 25 first team, and who are considered happy. Let's have a look at the hierarchy. Andy Carroll, Tom McIntyre and Tom Holmes are all the people who have um, big team leaders in this team. Um, and big ways. This camera is really high up. I feel... There we go. That's a bit better. Um, of it, we've got all the new players that are in and the others as well that come in as well. So we've got a nice balance there as well of players that are like it. Happiness, everyone is just happy. He's a bit concerned because he's not playing. <coughs> but yeah, everything's going well. Let's have a look through the data hub as well. We don't really do this that much. Or we analyse reports. 92% that everyone's happy with that. Everyone seems to be going into it. Last five matches. These are where we're getting. This is where we're conceding the goals. Um, all these teams are sort of the way we're playing defensively are shooting from long distance um, and really going for it and these are all the goals we're re these is where we have regained possession uh, Kelvin has won back more possession than anyone else any other player on our team and just we're winning possession everywhere and that's what I like to see as well we're really going for it really doing it um, these are the majority of the shots we're getting. All of our goals, we've scored a lot to the right-hand side. 43 of our goals. Is, we've had 799 shots this season, 383 on target, and 125 goals. I presume that's not this season. I presume that's overall. Um, overall, because all competitions, including friendlies, 
We are smashing them. So if we're looking player-wise, Corner Boys, Clark's passing stats do further attention. Why was that? So he's in the he's in the middle of lots of passes, accurate passes, and fewer passes as well. So he's in the middle of what he does. Um, scoring, average, high, uh, average, aggressive shooting, and high quality. Andy Carroll's there. Uh, Ricky Jada Jones is also there. Femi Aziz and passive shooting, but high quality. We've got in here as well. So it's sort of output strikers. Yeah. So we're going into this game now against Blackburn. This is a completely different game than what I was I was about to play it and I forgot I was saying I'm going to do this on stream. But a stream, I'll do this in a video. But we've changed some things up. I'm going to take away play for set pieces because we don't want to do that. We're just kicking it out to whoever's free and available. Higher line with Mamouf gets stuck in as well because I want to try and cut down on those yellow cards. Um, Tom McIntyre has been out for the past three games. Um, or two games with suspension with the amount of yellow cards he has been generated in here. So we're just going to keep it going, keep winning, and hopefully win the fucking league. But we are top. Forgot to tell you that. We are top. To my knowledge that I remember, we were top of the league. But we're going to have a look. We're going up against Blackburn. Blackburn are playing a 4-2-3-1. Any players that used to play for us? Nope. Was that Ben Brenton Diaz on the bench? They are seventh. We are top of the league. We are fucking. I'm not even going to try and do the maths. I'm not even going. I was going to, but I'm not going to try. Right, Nesta Guinness Walkers to Rogers. Rogers scored a really good goal last time, but he's he's hit and miss in some of these games. Um, he does really well and then goes missing in some games. And it's, it's we need more consistency out of the players in this team. But yeah, we've got a midfielder coming in. I want a little bit more depth. Rogers is there as I'm talking about him. And he doesn't score. Fucker. But yeah, I am going on holiday in two weeks time from when this video goes out. Three weeks time from when this video goes out. Um, so I will be doing... The week of before I go away on holiday, I will be doing a big batch of recordings um, where it will there will be a video every day. There won't be a Reading um, news video. It will just be um, football manager videos throughout the next two weeks of those two weeks when I'm away. So, and it will be the start of the season as well. So I will be missing some of the games as well um, as I will be on holiday. But when I come back, we will do a big catch up on all everything I've missed, everything that's been going on, the games and sort of going back from there. But we're playing out from the back. Just Guinness Walker down the line. Poor pass there. And this the Guinness Walker takes over, runs down the left, cuts in, cuts out. Is he gonna find a player? He can't find him when Rogers is there, cuts back to Charlie Savage, he miss hits that. Should have taken it on his right and aimed for that corner. Would have been a lot easier for him. But we're not possession king in this game. No, I don't like it. I like it to be possession game. Femi Aziz has picked up a knock, but is he going to recharge like Wolverine? Not too much. He might have to come off at half time. Oh, yes. He's recharged like Wolverine, so it's fine. We've had eight shots, but only one on target. Shooting has not been good enough. Right. Let's get them going again. But yeah, quite happy getting in that midfielder. We've got a little bit more depth down the midfield position I'm looking for. Um, we're losing a centre-back because uh, Thomas Callas is leaving. Um, he will be going to another club in January, if I remember. Right. Both wingers are dead, so we're going to take them out. Tom McIntyre is dead. I know this comes out Tuesday. Got to try and remember when I record this. Tuesday. But if you guys haven't watched it already, please go on the overlap and watch Deli Ali's interview. Um, I'm currently watching it, and has he just been sent off? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, 
don't want you as a deep line playmaker. Do not do that to me, game. You're going to go advance, advance. You're going to be target man. That'll be fine. It'll make my life a little bit easier. So, but yeah, and this made me want to buy Deli Ali in this game. So, I've scouted him. He's he's currently just gone for a free in the summer, and he's in Holland playing. And I'm scouting him. Whether he wants to come is another thing. I might buy him. Who knows at this point? I'm buying players. Matioski. <coughs> but Reading, I am literally as I'm recording this. Reading have just announced a signing, and I haven't seen who it is yet. They just announced a teaser. How do we announce this? So that that's when I record my, my football managers always on a Thursday. Harvey Nibs is done. In real life. On a three-year contract, he is joining the Royals. Interesting. Nah, interesting. Right, let's carry on. I'm just reading about. It's nil-nil, 90th minute. I will be okay if this stays as a draw going into the second game against Watford. Um, Watford is... <sighs> this feels like the march of last season game into this one okay right i will see you guys for the next episode for the next episode for the next game where we will be playing watford is easy isn't that injured for nine weeks charlie savage is banned for one game do not appeal ah right see you next episode right we are back we haven't played a game or anything since the last time i saw you we're now going into watford who are now second this is first versus second just have a real bad feeling about this. I don't know why. Should be going into this being really confident being top of the league, but there's just something about this that just makes me worry. Um, and I don't like it. And now you can see the stuff I have to deal with when I stream of how long it takes. Right. I'll deal with that in a minute. <laughs> Director of football can deal with Transfers. Oh, they're out all on loan, or one of them is. If I can. I normally hate having players around that are not going to be here forever. So. I can't do it, can I? No. Okay, set for release. They're all going to be set for release. We'll work out I'll, what I'll do off stream um, video is I will work out. The players I think about keeping and don't think about keeping. Um, Charlie Savage is suspended. Yikes. Okay, the youngster can come on. Uh, Femi Aziz is injured, so Tori Fusu. Kamara can come on. Our midfield is fucked. He can come on because he can be a DM for it. We haven't got any real midfielders that can come and do it, so I'm going to bring on Dave Taylor. Hasn't had much gain this season, five substitute appearances, but that will do. We're going, we're going balanced. Um, let's play set pieces again, and hopefully we can use those set plays to maybe help us a little bit more in this game and help us moving forward because we're going to need it. Um, normally, if I'm top of the league, I'll go into these clashes feeling a little bit more confident, but the loss in the 90 something minute in the last game has really knocked it out of me and also Watford have a real good team in this game um, like real life as well so it's a little bit of a worry for us moving forward but here we go I just want to get into it I don't want to see anything else here we go they're playing a 4-2-3-1 Loom is playing for them as well Parrot as well I think we lost I can't remember we, I think we played Watford before on here and I, don't, I can't remember no we I can't remember I was going to say that I can remember and I know what went on but I really don't so, Andy Carroll to Fosu. What's Fosu going to do? Down the line to Andy Carroll's in and splays it over. That was Andy Carroll a few weeks ago. That would have been in. But 
hey ho. There we go, right, we are back. Turn that down a bit, there we go. I just had to go in and get my partner to shut the door as it's banging and then I didn't want to do that in the video. So, 25 minutes in, top of the league still, two points ahead. It's all bye by me. McIntyre, where's he going to go? Dragger, out wide to in Enzo. Enzo in the middle, McIntyre, pass it back to Fozu. Nice little pass in there, down the line if he can. No, back to McIntyre. To Dragger, nice little play there. Kelvin's got big gap there to go into. He's got cut off, but it goes back. Nice play here. Enzo, back down the line to... Nice pass through. Can he go across? Carroll's there for his 24th league goal of the season. We go 1-0 up in this massive top-of-the-table clash against Watford. This is a big, big game. I cannot put this estimate this enough how big this game means to this club and to what we can do moving forward if we win this i seriously seriously will consider ourselves a top two side who should be getting promoted this season and if i'm saying that the premier league is going to be fucking hard kelvin down the line to drago can he get his goal and he does second goal of the season i think he scored his first and i hope he's offside For fuck's sake i thought that was him i got really hyped when's he offside did one of them touch it? Oh, is it interfering with play? Fuck off. A load of bollocks, that rule. I hate that rule. 60% possession. They haven't had a shot yet. We've had six shots, three on target. 19,000 Reddy fans are at the ground today. For this, ex this massive game for us moving forward. Yeah, pleased with the chances we're creating. Dragon looks like a player that I might trust in the future moving forward. Um, I'm also tempted with some of the youngsters that are, that are not starting, that are not doing it, to send them out on loan in January to get them some real first team experience. Fuck it, no. I thought that was a penalty and I thought that was a goal. It all went wrong there for me then, a split second. Right, five minutes in, Watford are on top. Back post, heads it out for Holmes. Big clearance out there. Vissa going down the line. Connor Boyce Clark comes out and claims it. Is that the Vissa from Brentford? It is. I know my shit. Right. And still, we're the 11th. Remember, we got the 11th highest. We're 11th in the league with wages. Okay. So this team is overperforming by a mile. So, Andy Carroll is injured. Wicked Jada Jones is going to come on. Kamara is going to come on. He can come on. McIntyre's getting a bit injured. He can come on. Right, here we go. We've had to make some subs. We have to because they're getting tired and they're slowly losing the world to be sensible. So, Leeds are winning 3-2. They have jumped up to second now in the league. And we are now fourth. No, they've gone back down. They're drawing. They've conceded two goals in a minute. I hate that when that happens in this game. It makes me angry. We turn into Toto Wolf at Saudi Arabia. Right, Augustine Holmes down the line to Adrian. Adrian! This feels like a goal to Watford somehow. And I don't know what. Oh, Jada Jones does a great Connor Boys cut down the line. Can Kamara win it? He doesn't. Loom is there. Gets tackled, gets intercepted. And here comes Kamara. Back out the wing to Kelvin. What's Kelvin going to do? He drags it into Draga. Draga shoots. And it's a beautiful goal. For hopefully this will be counted. His second league goal of the season. Makes it 2-0. And the youngster is doing it for us. Yeah, beauty. What a man. I'm so tempted to call him Ivan Drago. The temptation is there. Oh, he nearly makes it. He nearly makes it. Oh. Yep. Being called it. Right, we are two minutes away now. Ivan Drago's going to come off. Did it. 
I did a thing that people are not going to like, but I did it. Right, here we go. One minute left. This should be it. This is it. We are now top of the league. And I can now say if we do not finish in the top two, I have bottled it. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. In a video as well. Normally I say things to myself like this. Oh, okay. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. If we don't finish in the top two this season, I have bottled it. He is out for it. More injury. Ooh, hello. Head in 15. <sighs> Mark likes. 5 million. No. Right, that will be the end of this episode. Thank you guys ever so much. Let's have a look at when we will come back. We will come back for... We'll come back for Leeds Burnley again. We've done it before and we'll do it again. Leeds Burnley, we will be back at the end of January where we will be making some transfers. People will go out, people will come in, but we will see what we can do. But with that, my name's been Mark. You guys have been amazing. I'll see you guys for the next episode.